My name is Ahmed Jacob and I'm going to talk you through how I made Maurice Andrew Solicitors a firm that was winding down and closing down to making millions. So what inspired me to be a lawyer was when I was 16 years old, one of my close mates was arrested for attempted murder. And I believe that he was innocent of that. However, he still ended up doing nine years in prison. So leading on from that, I attended college, which didn't go too well. Although I had in the back of my head that this is what I wanted to do, my grades weren't up to the standard to get me into a university. And this is why I say it's not what you know, it's who you know. I met a guy there named Stuart Williams. He said to me that I'm going to make you do a exam. If you are successful in that exam, then I will put you on a foundation degree. I asked him when the exam is, he said, today, now. After the exam, he says, Mr. Yacoub, unfortunately, I cannot get you onto the foundation degree. He goes, because you've done so well. He said, I'm actually going to give you a chance and put you onto the degree that you actually applied for, but you cannot let me down. I then went on to do the legal practice course, which is a requirement if someone chooses a career to be a solicitor. So I was sending my CVs out everywhere. Nobody was returning my call. My dad says to me, get up, get in the car, because I'm taking you somewhere to get you a job. He took me to a law firm and he said to the guy you don't need to pay him keep him teach him what he needs to learn i was happy with that at that moment i was young and i just wanted to absorb all the knowledge that i could get so i spent two years at that firm so here's a fascinating bit and how blessed i am I'll tell you now. So when I was working at this law firm around the corner, I used to come here because this building was the host for this area for the document exchange. And at one point I had a bit of a premonition and I thought to myself, I would love to be working in a building like this. Little did I know, a few years later, I would be owning this building. Whilst I was at my old law firm, I didn't make no money whatsoever. What I did was, I made a lot of connections. In them two years, all I was doing was giving people free advice, doing work for people for free. So I made the guy over a quarter of a million pound. And that's when something clicked. If I can make this money in such a short period of time, what will I do if it was my own? law firm. Our relationship got sour. I had to leave that place. I was a bit lost. I didn't know what to do. I got into the car, drove here and met with a man called Morris Andrews. I asked him for a job. He says, look, I'm winding down. I'm not looking for any new employees. I go, look, Morris, don't pay me. I'll work for free. He said, why would you want to work for free? I said, because I want to learn. Because when you're young, you work to learn, not to earn. But Maurice said this to me, he said, I'll give you a commission from all the work you bring in. So you're not here totally for free and you're making a bit of money. So I started bringing in work here and there. So I used to go home and still have a bit of money. I had kids, of course, I was married. So I was just getting by. So I'm a qualified solicitor now and I could have gone as a qualified solicitor and gone and got a job at a law firm and get about £30,000 a year, I would have got comfortable. Being comfortable is the killer of all dreams. So then I started working for this law firm. This was like a construction site. There was files all over here. There was dust everywhere. I've got a dust allergy. So coming in here was actually bad for my health. Thankfully, all the hard work that I put into this place has paid off. With the help of God, it's all from God. This is what I keep telling people. Morris came to me and he said, I want to wind down and I want to shut the place down. I go, what if I make you an offer, Morris, and I want the fame off you? We just kept going back and forth for one year with the offers. In the end, in October 2016, September 2016, we agreed a figure. 2nd of October 2016, I took over Morris Andrews Solicitors. I had to take a big risk because at this point, I did not know if this firm is going to do well. And that's where it started from. Five, six months later, I started making good money, the money that I've not seen before. From then, I've just gone from strength to strength to strength to strength. And then I've started on the social media thing. Looking back now, I took risks. I took a lot of risks. If you want to buy things without thinking about the price, you need to work without thinking about the time. And that was my strategy. So when I used to come in, when I had the firm, there was no staff members. I used to walk through the door alone. I used to come in the morning, reply to the emails, go to the police station, shut up shop, divert the phone to my mobile, shut up shop, 
go to a police station, come back from a police station, go to do my court hearing. And at five o'clock, that's when my admin work used to start. So I used to sit there and do all my admin work. And I used to work till about 10 o'clock. So my working hours were from 5 a.m. till 10 p.m. for them couple of years, till I started making good money, I started getting my staff in. And then we just went from strength to strength. So all of these hours that I've put in, days, hours, nights, weekends, that I've put in, have fortunately paid off. And I say, Alhamdulillah, that means with the will of Allah. And now I'm in that position that I've, I can get clients, or I've had clients, and I've made money from clients that is equivalent to going and buying an apartment in Birmingham city centre. And I don't think this is a coincidence. Hard work puts you where good luck can find you. So my advice to anyone who wants to get into the legal field would be, again, goes back to a point I made earlier. When you're young, your work to learn. You will earn later. So any experience you can get, just grab it with both hands. Because some opportunities will come to you and they will be guised as free wear, early mornings, late nights. You just have to keep going. With that kind of attitude, you can succeed in any area of life. But always remember that there's a defense for every offense.